Welcome to our lecture online. We're now finally able to come up with the final general solution for the diffuse equation where we have some constant times the second partial derivative of u with respect to x equaling the first partial derivative of u with respect to t. We realized that k was some constant that had dimensions of length squared over time, so if we wrote it inside an expression of x squared over kt, this expression would be dimensionless. And therefore, we're looking for a solution where beta being equal to this expression, x squared of k over t, would be the variable of which we have a function that would be equal to the solution of u. Wow. We finally were able to come up with a differential equation, an ordinary differential equation. And if you want to see where that came from, we have several videos that did all the work before this. And then we tried to solve for that ordinary differential equation, and we end up with uh, an integral that was a e to the minus one quarter beta over beta to the one half times d beta. Then we realized we couldn't solve that integral, so we had to make another substitution. The substitution is going to be omega equals beta to the one, beta to the one half over two, such that if we replace beta to the one half, that would be x over the square root of kt. We still have the one half. And if we square both sides, omega squared would be beta over 4. If we take the derivative of omega, d omega, that would be 1 quarter, because it's 1 half times 1 half, times beta to the 1 half minus 1, which is beta to the minus 1 half. And of course, times d beta. So that means that this is equal to 1 over 4 beta to the 1 half d beta. If we now replace d beta, by what that is equal to, we can now solve for d beta is equal to 4 times beta to the 1 half dw. So we replace this d beta by this. We do that over here. We have an a to the e to the minus omega squared because omega squared is beta divided by 4. So beta divided by 4 can be replaced by omega squared over here. We still have the beta to the 1 half here, but that cancels out with this beta to the 1 half. So finally, we have the function we're looking for that is equal to the solution of our differential equation is equal to the integral of 4a times e to the minus omega squared dw. Finally, what we can do, we can take 4a, which is a constant, call it constant b, then have the integral of e to the minus omega squared dw, and of course this can be any variable. Then we integrate that from b initial to b final, or beta initial to beta final, realizing that beta is a function of x and t. So whatever the initial conditions are and the final conditions, we plug those, those limits in. And then, of course, we have to have a relationship between omega and beta. And the relationship is, of course, right here. And then we have our general solution of the function, which is equal to a function of beta. And that can be found using doing this integral, which is a doable integral. And then, of course, beta is defined as x squared over k times t. And that is the final general solution of our initial diffusion equation we started with a few videos ago. And that's how it's done.